This afternoon, I am going to show you how to cold smoke. I've got my wedgie in the corner over here. You see the nice uh, smoke coming up out of that. Got my sharp cheddar cheese, my pepper jack cheese, two pound blocks cut into uh, quarters. And then over here, you might notice this. Might look a little different to you. This is a gallon jug of frozen water, or should I say a gallon jug of ice. I live right on the edge of the desert. It's almost 100 degrees here. You want to cold smoke it below 100 degrees. So add a little jug like that, a little ice to keep your grill cool. You smoke going over there, you're good to go. Here I have a shelf of mozzarella and sharp cheddar. On my bull racks here, and we might as well give a plug to our Green Mountain Grill. The combination is great. The wedgie, the bull racks, and the Green Mountain Grill. I use these things, I'm doing my best to wear it out before I die. Going to top it off with a little Mexican string cheese. Should be a real treat. Put it all in there, let the wedgie do its thing. Let everything go for about an hour, hour and a half. All right, this is my 30 minute check. Looking good. The ice jug's keeping everything cool. I'm 100 degrees in here, not too bad considering outside here, it's a little over 100. You can see the wedgie's doing a nice job with the smoke. I'm going to be very happy with this one. We're an hour into our smoke here now. My grill temperature's still at 100 degrees, which I think is pretty awesome, considering it's over 100 outside here. Let's open this up and see how we're doing. All that smoke is from the wedgie, isn't that beautiful? cheese is looking good. I'm going to go a little longer. I want to see a little more smoke color to it. See all the smoke coming out of the wedgie. Ice pack is still solid. We've got a lot of recipes planned. Oh uh, yeah, this smoked cheese, not only is it good to munch on, but when you use it in recipes, oh my god, the smoky flavor it brings to it. You guys got to try this, you really do. Two hours in the smoke with the wedging. The ice pack so it doesn't get too warm. It looks beautiful. It's time to pull it. Something I want you guys to think about. You can smoke your cheeses and use different pellets and different flavors. And what Patty's done with some that I've smoked has made some awesome mac and cheeses and other recipes that she's used the cheese in. But think about a smoked mac and cheese. Off the hook.